So uh, the next area we'll look at is the Keweenaw Peninsula, copper country, as we call it in Michigan. Um, has a long history of, of mining native copper. Um, it was a, uh, a, called a rift stone. So uh, lava had come up there uh, in ancient times and uh, allowed the copper to be concentrated in that manner. And um, <clears throat> to get that copper, they had to uh, grind up the rock. But um, in the 1800s, they would just dump that rock, or the tailings, known as stamp sands, into Lake Superior. And if you drive along Kiwana Peninsula today, you'll see a lot of these black sands all along um, the shoreline there. And of course, um, we also want to uh, point out uh, cumulative impacts. The Kiwana Bay Indian community is right in the center of that. The uh, stamp sands are, are migrating along the shoreline and um, they're actually burying some of the lake trout uh, spawning reefs, and, as well as the pollution. And um, I had mentioned uh, Dr. Kerfoot's work. Um, he's identified an area called a, a halo, he calls it, around the Keweenaw Peninsula in Lake Superior waters that are um, elevated with um, copper and, and possibly mercury. Um, Dr. Kerfoot is speculating that um, uh, uh, that those stamp sands had a lot of mercury in them as well. So um, that's something that we're very concerned about. Um, is it contributing to uh, high levels in the fish? We haven't established that yet. Um, so the, also in that area is the Torch Lake Superfund site and uh, Lake Superior area of concern. There are 43 areas of concern in the, in the uh, Great Lakes. And the reason for this one is because the stamp sands were dumped into this lake, um, filling up 20% of the volume, over 20%, <coughs> and um, there were other chemicals in there. So a lot of uh, money has been spent trying to remediate that area of concern. 